Hey guys, what's going on? Insidious Swede, back again here for another YouTube video. Welcome to my manga haul for the month of August. Before getting into the books though, I did quickly want to mention something. Recently, I just started using Twitter. And uh, if you guys would like to follow me, I will have a link in the description. But uh, basically, it's just a good place to get a lot of information from me, whether it be a video reminder or if I have something to talk about. But more than anything, it's just a great place to get an uh, update from me on a semi-regular basis and to contact me or, or whatever. So if you guys have a Twitter account, uh, please feel free to follow. But uh, without further ado, let's get into the manga. So the first book that I have is actually one that I was inspired to buy from a video uh, released by Mr. Studio Senpai, who I've talked to a few times on here. Seems like a great guy. And uh, the series is actually a one-volume title from Dark Horse, and that is Wandering Island. Uh, it actually has a number one on here, but it is a single-volume series. But uh, I saw the review he put out for it. Sounds like a great series, so I definitely wanted to check it out. Uh, the next series also has a similar story. I watched a review from Andrew Sindoku, who's another great YouTuber on here. He just made a review for uh, Saturn Apartments, which I've had for a while now. Uh, it's been forever since I've read this first volume, but uh, after seeing his review for it, I definitely wanted to get back into the manga, so I figured I'd pick up the remaining two volumes that I needed. So here is Saturn Apartments Volume 6 and Saturn Apartments Volume 7. So. Uh, definitely excited to have all of this manga and finally read it. Uh, don't know why I didn't go on to Volume 2 after finishing up Volume 1. Uh, just, I think I went into something else and then kind of forgot about it and never went back to it. But uh, after hearing what Andrew had to say about this series, I'm definitely very excited to read the manga. And uh, definitely happy to finally have the entire series. Alright, next book up is actually a re-release from Yen Press, and that is for Fruits Basket. Now, as you guys know, I'm not a huge fan of shonen manga, or excuse me, shoujo manga. Uh, there are a few series that I've enjoyed over the years, but um, after all of the great things that I've heard about Fruits Basket, I definitely wanted to pick up the series. As you can see, I got the first two volumes here. And uh, for some reason on Amazon right now, these books are going for like seven to eight bucks, which is basically 67% off because uh, they do go for 20. But a great deal. And um, it, it was definitely worth picking up again. It was a book that I was looking at anyway. So after seeing that deal, I had to jump on them. So really happy to have these first two volumes. The only thing that I don't like about them is the number at the top of the book. I don't know why Yen Press is doing this. Uh, they also did it with another series right here, uh, Yobamushi Petal. They also put the number at the top, which just looks weird. So I'm not too sure why they're doing that. It seems to be happening more and more frequently. I just prefer the number on the bottom or something like that. But other than that, a very good, high-quality release from Yen Press. Uh, next up, we picked up Toriko Volume 35. Actually, one of the best-looking Toriko covers. Great book here. Uh, always a fun read. Always enjoy reading Toriko. Uh, apparently, last time I showed off a volume of Toriko on my channel, uh, somebody in the comments said that it's coming to an end, which if that's true, that's very unfortunate. I, I do want the series to go on for a long time, uh, So, but I, I guess it's wrapping up quickly, um, which uh, hopefully it's done well. I hate to see manga end off um, less than less than good, which has kind of been happening recently, so that's a bit unfortunate, but still uh, great to get more Toriko. Always excited to read more of it. Uh, next book up is Attack on Titan Volume 19. Um, Attack on Titan, is I, I haven't read a volume in forever. It's kind of a series that's fallen to the back burner um, because at any one time I'm reading 20 to 30 series all at once. And trying to keep all of those stories straight is almost impossible. So a series like Attack on Titan kind of gets lost. But uh, I definitely want to go back to it soon for sure. Uh, next up is Volume 2 of Devil's Line. Uh, as most of you know, I did make a first impressions video for this series. A very strong start and the ending to that first volume is very compelling. So excited to see what happens next. I think as the manga goes on, it's going to continue to get more unique and separate itself from, from some other series. I heard some Tokyo Ghoul comparisons, which is semi-fair, even though the stories do differ. 
But uh, overall, just excited to get more into this series. Uh, next up is My Hero Academia Volume 5. Now, I've said this from day one with this title. I don't plan to read it right away. Again, I have so many other series. I don't want this one to be one that I start and then forget about. So I know that I'm going to like it, you know, with superheroes and, and shonen battle manga kind of coming together. Sounds like a great time. I know it's popular, but for now, I'll continue to buy the volumes and hold off on reading it for uh, the immediate future. All right, next title up is Black Clover Volume 2. Now, I did read Black Clover, Clover Volume 1, and it was okay. I admit there were some pros and some cons. Overall, it felt fairly generic, and that's kind of why I haven't made a review for it, just because I don't really know what I'd say. But if you guys still want to see that video, I definitely can make it. Um, unfortunately, I think that with a series like Black Clover, unless it, it really picks up, Around volume three or four, I might have to hold off on buying more for now because there's other series that I want to get, and I've kind of found myself in a, in a tighter budget these days. But uh, I still want to see what happens next. Hopefully, it can improve and get better so I can stick with it. But uh, for now, we're just going to have to see. Uh, next book up is actually a new series from Vertical, and this one I really do want to make a video on, and that is Immortal Hounds Volume 1. Uh, this is actually one of the few cases where I read a bit of it online before buying the physical copy. I wasn't too sure about it, but after reading a little bit, it seems very unique. I really enjoyed what I had read, which probably was like the first two chapters or, or something like that. So uh, I can definitely see myself making a first impressions video for this. I can't promise it, but uh, expect it in the next couple of days if it does happen. But uh, yeah, really good start to a series. Looking forward to finishing up this first volume. Next book up is Food Wars Volume 13. I mean, it's Food Wars, guys. You know I really enjoy this manga, so always going to pick up the next volume. Uh, picked up Haikyuu Volume 2, and I haven't actually started reading this series yet. I am actually waiting to watch the first season of the anime beforehand, but uh, currently I'm finishing up Dragon Ball Z Kai before I get into Haikyuu, so once I watch that first season of the anime, I'm going to hop into the manga. Uh, next book up is Batum Volume 14. Uh, Batum continues to get better from each volume to volume. I think it started out as a as a clone of Battle Royale, but it's kind of turned into its own entity. Um, again, it just continues to get better, so looking forward to seeing what happens next. All right, next series up is one that I've been meaning to get for a long time. It's kind of been on my wish list, and I just never pulled the trigger, but I finally got it, and that is the Neon Genesis Evangelion manga. Of course, these are the Viz 3-in-1 Omnibuses. Here's Volume 1. I also got Volume uh, 2 right here, which covers Volumes 4-6, to six, uh, as you can see. I also got Volume 3 right here, which covers 7-9. to nine. And I got volume uh, four, so I am missing volume five, which covers the last two volumes. I uh, just forgot to order that one, but basically here's 80% of the series. Um, I know this is the manga adaption and the anime did come first, but I might read the manga before getting into the anime just because I can't watch it on Crunchyroll or Netflix. It's not available. And then buying a physical copy off eBay or something like that, it's just ridiculous. So I might read the manga first. We'll have to see though. I, I'm not, I can't imagine it's going to be too big of a deal um, to read the manga before the anime. Overall, I'm going to get into both eventually, but just very happy to finally have the manga. It's one that I've been meaning to get for a long time. So uh, very happy that I pulled the trigger on those. And the last book that I got for the video is actually the most expensive book that I got for the entire, uh, entire lot, but that is Mobile Suit Gundam The Origin Volume 8. These volumes are always gorgeous, very high quality, as you guys know. And uh, yeah, just picking them up occasionally. I can't imagine I'll get these every haul video, but uh, slowly working my way up to the complete set trying to uh, get these before they go out of print, even though Vertical did say they're keeping them in print for now. Uh, we saw with series like No Longer Human, and then even right now I can kind of see it happening with Knights of Sidonia. Their titles do tend to go out of print pretty quickly, so uh, trying to get these when I can, but again, paying 25 bucks for this is basically three volumes of another series, so I don't get them all too often, but still happy to get them when I can. 
obviously the best um, release you can get for manga out there. But uh, yeah, that's going to do it for the video, guys. So hopefully you enjoyed. Again, uh, please follow me on Twitter if you haven't yet. Um, no pressure if you don't want to, but I'd really appreciate it. Uh, but anyways, guys, thank you for watching. I am Insidious Swede, and until next time, take care.